Hey folks, it's Ken and Data Monkey back for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this one, I'm actually going to come clean about something here. We recently had an Ask Skill Wave with myself and Matt Ellington, and I was asked how to show dates. How can we fill dates into areas where dates aren't showing up in pivot tables? And I gave a solution for Power Pivot, which I'm going to show you here, and said that it couldn't be done with a standard pivot table. That earned me an email from my good friend, Wynn Hopkins, who said, Ken, that's not true. So I'm coming clean here and I'm going to show you how to do it in both. All right, so we're going to start here. I've got my little table and you can see I got records February 13th and then the next one is the 17th. I'm missing a couple days here. So when I summarize that in my pivot tables, I don't have those days and I really want to see those empty days of sales as well. Now, when we're working with Power Pivot, this is actually really easy. All we need to do is build a calendar table. And I'm not going to go through building the calendar table. We've got great recipes for this in uh, Master Your Data for Excel and Power BI, our Power Query recipe cards, uh, some of our courses, Power Query Academy, our Dimensional Modeling course, Self Service BI Bootcamp. They all cover this stuff. But the cool thing is here is that we can dynamically, using Power Query, create a nice calendar table out of our data, always expanding the boundaries. So there's our calendar table from the 1st of February to the end. And I've linked it into my data model. Okay based on the date field here. Once I have that in place, the only thing I need to do, as long as this is coming from the calendar table, is go right click, go to my pivot table options, and then under display, I can choose show items with no data on rows. And this will work for dates, works for anything. And boom, just like that, there we go. All of my gaps from my calendar table that have dates but don't have data still show up, they don't get suppressed. Okay, so nice and easy. You can see the other dates with numbers, they're showing there properly. Now with a standard pivot table, you can't actually do that. And as far as I know, when you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this trick will only work for dates. I have this here and I wanna go and use that same option, pivot table options, display. It's grayed out. It happens, however, that it is under the field settings. So if I go into the field settings, layout and print, what you'll notice is we can show items with no data right here. But the problem is it makes no difference there's something else you have to do. You've got to go right click and group your data. Now, I personally, when I'm grouping data that's daily granularity, like to do it by say days and months. I always leave days in this thing. And now when I go and say, okay, what you'll see is that it now builds me an entire calendar on the fly. It's kind of ugly, but there we go. I got a whole bunch of zeros for January and there is my February data showing there. So there you have it can be done in a standard pivot, but eh, I'd still prefer power pivot. I just think it's more robust and easier to set up overall. It looks better in the end. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.